Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech. We're going to talk about what are the top 10 must-have apps for the iPhone 5 or for 2013, either or. Now these aren't necessarily my top 10 apps. These are the top 10 apps I found that were kind of compiled from a bunch of websites I saw that were listing their top 10 apps. So I kind of went to a bunch of different sites and kind of had an idea, since I have a few of them, uh, what they were, but thought I'd share with you. So the first one is Flipboard. Flipboard is kind of a news aggregator that's been around for a while now and brings in everything such as Facebook, Twitter, I have a bunch of different sources like Engadget, Wired, The Verge, anything you want to put in here you can and it brings them all into this nice little magazine layout. It's a free app, tap on it here, you can flip through it like this. If maybe I don't want to see the cover stories but I want to see Facebook or Twitter directly and go to the into my Twitter feed here, just flip through it. It's just a really nice simple app and works really well. The next app is Twitter. Now Twitter again is a free app and it's Twitter so that's kind of combined into your other app but in this case we have Twitter just like this so uh, you can scroll through your Twitter feeds just pretty nice so uh, simple and it works really well. The next app is Google Maps. Now Apple Maps are pretty good and they're actually really good in my area but depending on where you live maybe Australia they're not so great. So Google Maps is right here, another free application. It locates you and you can get directions. Uh, you can search for whatever you want around. You can talk in the typing. Uh, it's just Google Maps. It's what Apple removed from the iPhone. Google made better, put it back on the iPhone. So really good, definitely worth picking up. The next app I have listed as a top 10 must-have app is Instagram. Instagram is pretty well known and it goes along with the next app, Facebook. So Instagram, you can go through your Instagram feed, uh, tons of different things from your friends, whatever, different pictures they take, and they were bought by Facebook. And I have Facebook over here because I use Flipboard for that, but there's Facebook. Uh, you should probably know what Facebook is at this point, or at least you've heard, at, heard of it, uh, depending on the country you're in it, at least. So Instagram and Facebook, those are the next two. One of the apps that a lot of people have heard of, but not everybody, is Evernote. And Evernote is a notation to, uh, application that lets me take a bunch of notes, brings everything into one place. And the reason it's really great is you can save websites, clips of things for later, and it will sync between multiple devices. So maybe you don't have all Apple devices and use the note application on here, but you want everything synced. Well, here you can take a note here simply put in your note and this is a free application as well put in a note and then go to your windows computer go to your android device tablet whatever and it will be on evernote so they just sync across pictures everything places tags notebooks so it's a really nice app it's free so definitely check that one out another app is whatsapp whatsapp is a 99 cent app on the iphone we'll open this up here and it creates some contacts uh, let's pick this person and let's me text to them. They might be on a different phone. If they're using WhatsApp on an Android phone, I can text directly to them, avoiding texting fees. I can also make calls through them. I can do a status update here, busy at the movies. Uh, and it's a really nice, easy chat client that's definitely worth checking out. Another application on the top 10 list is actually a game uh, that most people are familiar with and that would be Angry Birds. Now this is Angry Birds Star Wars. I'm not going to play it, uh, but if you're not familiar with it, go download it. It's 99 cents. There's free versions. There's all sorts of them. I don't really have a whole lot of games on my iPhone, but you can see Angry Birds Star Wars. You have birds. You try and get rid of the pigs. It's pretty simple. Uh, in a slingshot and you knock down bricks, things like that. And the next game in the list is Temple Run 2. Temple Run 2 is a continuation of the Temple Run series. Let's play this quick. And it's a simple swipe game. Swipe up to jump. We're going to turn. And I hit that there. It's a little bit difficult to do this actually on camera. The next application is a must in my opinion too is YouTube. YouTube lets you browse YouTube videos. You can see here's Zolotech, here's all my videos. We can tap on one, watch one. Uh, it's just a really great app. It works well and it's equivalent to the Android version. They're real similar, real familiar, and it's really fast and a pretty 
quick application. Second to last on our list of top 10 apps is Pulse. Pulse is a news reader that I use every day and it allows me to kind of aggregate content. So you can see I have tech, tech two. I really only read tech news for the most part. But you can see there's Mac rumors, nine to five Mac, Engadget, The Verge, Joystick for video games, Android Central, Kotaku for video games, Fandroid, and Autoblog. So I have all of these and this is as many as it allows me to add to one page. I have another page as well. And I can pull down to refresh and it just gives me all of my content right here with a nice little uh, title or headline and then what is actually going on. So I can tap on it, open it, scroll through. If I want to read it on the web, it opens up in a browser. So pretty simple and it's a really nice news aggregator. I use this in addition to Flipboard uh, if I just want to kind of get a snapshot of everything overall. Last but not least on our top 10 app list is Pandora. Pandora is a radio application. If you're not familiar with it, we'll open it up here and you can see there's some people we've listened to. I can't listen to them on here due to copyright, but basically you can type in an artist and listen to that artist and things like that artist. And over time it learns what you like and you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down and it kind of tailors it to what you like to listen to and then throws in some new stuff here and there. So it's really nice. Uh, it has your own profile here that you can kind of assign things to and it just remembers. So there's all sorts of things in here that I've listened to. So it's definitely worth checking out. It's free and is on the top 10 list. Those were the top 10 apps I was able to compile based off some things I found online. Now I'd love to hear what your top 10 apps are, or maybe a few apps that I didn't include in those top 10 that you'd love for others to know about, or maybe myself to know about and check out. Please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.